In professional sports, the stakes are high. Athletes want to win. Have you ever wondered how athletes don't get out of breath when they race? He says it's all about oxygen delivery to the body's tissues. How about hearing stories about athletes who get a little extra help? We live in a performance enhanced world, so, so we have performance enhancing drugs in sports. Have you ever been on the top of a mountain and found it hard to breathe? You have it. It's harder to breathe in the mountains because, well, there's less air to breathe. Hi, I'm Michael Bacana. I'm Spencer Newfeld. I'm Danielle Fawcett. And I'm Andrea Gallo. If you've ever lived in the mountains or been a professional athlete, you would have a huge lung capacity. Today, we're going to show you a fun way to see how much air your lungs can hold. Hey, do you know what vital capacity means? No, I've never heard of that term, Danielle. Well, why don't you take a big breath in and then breathe out as much air as you can. Okay. See, now that's your vital capacity. It's the largest amount of air that can be exhaled after taking in a big, deep breath. Well, how about when I'm just standing here breathing normally? What's that called? That's called your tidal volume. It is the normal amount of air that is inhaled and exhaled at a con on a constant basis without your conscious thought. Can you ever breathe out the extra air that's in your lungs? Sure, that's something that's known as expiratory reserve volume. It's the amount of air left over after a normal breath, but can be forced out. But did you know that there's always still a little bit of air left in your lungs, even when you force all of the air out? This is called your residual volume. So why do you think it's necessary that after breathing a big breath out, there is always still a little bit of air still left in your lungs? Well, I think it's because of all the air left, our lungs would collapse. That's exactly right. Now here's a great way for you to test your own lung volume right here in your very own classroom. And here's what you'll need. We need a tape measure, a meter stick or a meter stick, and a bag that measures your lung volume. In this lab, you'll be determining your vital capacity and comparing it to the expected value. First, Take as deep a breath as possible, pinch your nose, bend and exhale into the bag. When you have finished, close off the opening of the bag. Squeeze the air to one side. Record the volume of air exhaled into an observation table. Next, repeat steps one to three two more times, alternating turns with your partner. Each partner should have three recorded trial totals. Now you need to measure your height in centimeters and record this value into table number two. Select the appropriate multiplication factor depending on your athletic ability and record this in table number two. Determine your expected vital capacity by multiplying height times this factor. Calculate the percent difference between the observed and expected values for vital capacity.
now you can see if your largest breath is actually as big as it's supposed to be. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Now grab a partner and try it yourselves. And remember... All members of the Kingdom Animalia need oxygen to make energy. Oxygen is compulsory. Without oxygen, we die. <laughs>